Hey guys and welcome to what is it? Yeah, another speed build. Happy I oh I don't know what day this build is going out on. I'm being that productive that I am doing this ahead of time, not just not not just the day of, so I can't remember my calendar. But yes. Um no, I know what day this is going out. Thursday. Wednesday or Thursday, one of those. So you'll have had the game already, the pack, so I thought I'd come back again with something that has a little bit of CC, so kind of mixing the best of both worlds, in-game content already with the whole concept of tiny living. Um, I thought it'd be good to use some of um, Felix Sander content, the more traditional stuff, to recreate this beautiful gatehouse that I found. Um, I think it's on the border of the New Forest, so it's a UK building. And um, yeah, it's inspired by a French chateau, but you know, we all borrow from each other in Europe. It's absolutely fine. But um, yeah, I needed, repeat, needed to recreate this. It's not very often that I find um, a build that has this kind, these kind of architectural details that is actually small. So um, yeah, I'm now on the lookout for more and more gatehouses because they're like mansions but mini with all the detail because of course that's the first impression that a visitor would get would be the gatehouse because that's where Mr. Gatehouse Man lives. That's his official title and I'm sticking with it. Um, but yeah, so I have a gatehouse near me which I think I'm gonna drive past again and just like paparazzi the outside to see if I can build it. But I have a feeling it's one of those builds where it's got things that look at different, like they're at different levels and stuff and it's not really possible in the game unless you had split leveling but just to mention it may maybe it's possible but this one oi did this one give me a bit of a headache this is like the same length when i sped up my footage the same length of, as a regular sized build i think i had about half an hour's worth of footage and i ended up cutting out like 10 minutes um and speeding it up to the normal rate all the other tiny builds that I've done have been not sped up and I they were way shorter than normal uh, but no not this one the main problem well, not main problem the main um, issue I'm not going to say problem, I'm going to call it issue, that we had to think about in this build was um, trying to make the left hand side look like it was taller than the right hand side. Um, so to do that I used the large arch and that cuts into the next level up. So it does come into above the gateway is actually a bedroom. There's two bedrooms in this house. Would you believe it? I managed to fit two in. Yeah. The first, um, I think this is classed as a small home this time. So I've done all three tiers so far of um, tiny homes. I've done the, yeah, the first one that got released was a tiny home. Uh, the last video was a micro home. And then this one is a small home. So we've got all three of them. Um, but yeah, so I that's what I was trying to do by using the tall arch instead of the medium one to fit that would fit perfectly in that space. Um, I was trying to make the left hand side look taller and like they had different uh, different floor levels. That's always the tough thing to kind of do in the game and to make it look half decent. Um, so yeah, that was the struggle this time. I thought about maybe floating the roof in because you know you can do a roof at any height. I thought about floating it into the left hand side and I was just like no I think I'm gonna try and stick with the traditional building techniques to try and make it look like this so um yeah that's that's what I did and um, it doesn't end up staying like that I think I changed the top window so you actually end up having a window at this point you wouldn't have had a window into the bedroom because that is actually technically above the floor so yeah I end up rearranging it so you can actually have a window into the bedroom front and back and yeah and also change the window on the right hand side to match that on the left so you'll see that in a little bit um, but also 
In this one, I wanted it to just look like it was um, the entrance way and maybe possibly if you went through the arch, you'd go up and drive to the main house. So this was never gonna have like perfectly manicured landscaped gardens. I just wanted this to look natural as if it was just the entrance to a massive mansion behind. I did want to try and find a lot that was in front of the 64 by 64 lot that's in Windenburg in this country bit, but there is no lot in front of it. So I, I really wanted to place this like in front of one of my old mansions so it looked like it was leading up to it, but unfortunately that's not a thing. Uh, so we placed it here. This is actually the lot, as you can see there in the left hand corner, it says where the Shrieking Llama bar is. So it's, I think it's a 20 by 20 lot. And um, yeah, we, we bulldozed the Shrieking Llama and we put this one instead. And also what's good now, I've kind of, with these tiny living builds, I don't know why, but I'm more and more into using the debug objects. And I think it, I find it really helpful to filter them by uh, pack. So I knew I want this build to blend in really well with the environment. We're in Windenburg, which meant I just had to filter by get together to get all the pieces. So I end up using the same fence that is across the road, uh, this, this that stone fence there, um, to make the one that goes into this lot as well. Uh, so you'll see me, I'm just filtering it now and putting them in. The only thing uh, a bit difficult about these is of course they're a fixed length, so and if you intersect them, they go all really crazy. So I didn't want to do that, but I think I end up just doing a straight piece instead of curving it in. I end up doing a straight piece on one side just to make it a little, little bit different. You know, we like it. Oh yeah, and I put a gate here because it looked like kind of it's the gate entrance. Maybe you could close it. Not that that gate there would actually meet across to the other side, but just to gnaw that little bit. <laughs> So we're using, of course, the debug plants as well. So all of the grasses that can be found in this area, I just wanted to continue it. Um, I couldn't find the hedge that is actually next to the lot. For some reason that wasn't in Get Together. Maybe it's a base game thing or something. And I just didn't even think of filtering by base game at this point. Yeah, useless. But yeah, again, as I said, natural. And the one um, that inspired me just had hedges either side of the gatehouse so um i just wanted to keep something similar and i've added at the back kind of like a parking area you'll see go in with a car back there and i think that's a really nice feature and i just kind of at the very end i went through and added in a few more details like planter boxes i put like a bee um those bee are they beehives in the game, is that what they call them? Or bee boxes, they call them bee boxes. I put bee boxes there, but you'll see me now putting in like a gravel driveway. Um, I did show this house to someone, they were like, can the car fit through the arch? And I was like, shh, shh, just, 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 just don't ask such silly questions. Of course the car that is much wider than the arch can fit through, okay? <laughs> just. Just, just imagine it can fit through. Obviously this car is never gonna move, but it's okay because your Sims can't drive anyway. But yeah, so uh, this is actually me going back the next day and adding in a few details. I've kind of rearranged the footage so we keep all the external parts together, but I just realized it was missing a bit of detail. And on the real one, in different pictures, I had pictures from loads of different times. Um, sometimes it had ivy growing on this side, some of them didn't. Also, sometimes it had a gate there, I think. Um, wow, this footage, I really, did I did I do this properly? Because you can see the ivy's gone. Glad I admitted that the footage was a little bit different. I thought I'd put it, I've obviously put the clips the wrong way around. <laughs> Whoopsies. Uh, but yeah, so we're already moving into the interior uh, because it is a tiny house now. I can keep the floor plans in, which I must say are not very magical at this point because they are so small, but I suppose it's good to see it. This one, actually, I did end up changing the floor plan. You'll see there I did like one bedroom and then I had this other room on the side, which I was going to do as the bathroom. But I thought for a house this big, 
that bathroom was mighty large and I started um, decorating it and furnishing it and I was like, no, this is just too big. So I end up squeezing, just shoehorning in another bedroom and it's just got a single bed though because um yeah that's 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 as much as could possibly fit in there it's literally got a single bed and that's it so I saw that as more of a spare bedroom rather than your got someone living there like full time if you get what I mean yeah so I see it more as a spare bedroom not that those are really a thing in The Sims unless you have like some kind of storyline rotational gameplay or something like that I've always wanted to try playing the game like that I just never kind of found the, a way of really doing it my current household I do I did actually move her out of her uh, like marital apartment we're gonna call it she had three kids a husband and then she decided to go to university so we were like you know she needs to concentrate on university maybe she'll get her own apartment she did and then she kind of divorced her husband um and so he's looking after the kids and I would like it that the kids came to stay with her but I never end up doing that you know it's just I'm gonna try it I should try it. She has had another baby though, so yeah, I feel bad now. But um, yeah, this is not the way I normally play. I try and kind of sometimes get a little bit bored and I'm like, let's change this up. They're getting divorced. The, I don't know. <laughs> That's normally, it's like, let's change it up and do something different. It's like a little bit too perfect. So let's like spice it up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I haven't played The Sims in quite a while. So um, whew. But anyway, oh, back to this build. So we're on to the bedroom. I have used Felix Ender content as I said before. So there is a link in the description box to the Tumblr post that details all of the items you're gonna need for this. I did actually realize someone sent me an ask um, on Tumblr and I realized that I never tell people that the foundation, the custom content foundation by Felix Ender that I use is not actually available with his content. It's available, I think on the Sims 4 Studio website. He has a few items there that you can get for free as well. Um, and the foundation is one of them. And I think some of his bricks as well um, are on there. So I'm gonna remember now to link that in all of my bills because I use that custom foundation all the time. And no one has ever said to me, I don't have the foundation that you have. So um, yeah, F fingers crossed. Now we solve that problem. So if you've had one of my builds and you're like, I have never had the foundation that you've used. Um, sorry, I'm very, very sorry. So yeah, link in the description for the Tumblr post detailing all the stuff. I have used like literally one tiny piece of the bathroom. So if you don't have it, you are literally just gonna be missing a curtain from the bedroom. That's about it. Um, and the bathroom will be out for public re release on the 5th of February um, and I'm still thinking of a build like I want to have a build up on the 5th to kind of celebrate the public release so like some kind of mega build for that but I still haven't found the inspiration it's the only thing I haven't planned for like the next month here on the channel is that one build so um, f fingers crossed we find the inspiration for that before the time is up so anyway, you can see I've moved on to this mega huge bathroom that I just said to myself, whoa, that is way too big. So we did a little bit of an amendment to the hallway, made it a little bit bigger so that we could put on in this second door into another room. I really don't normally make rooms this this small, but it kind of worked for this. So um, I'm happy that I did kind of squeeze it in of course you could change it maybe you might need like some kind of skill building room or something else there is a desk downstairs so you don't necessarily need a separate study in this bookshelf I kind of always put a bookshelf a desk and a computer or something some kind of study area looking place in every build that I do so um I've got you covered for that but yeah I really do like the um mirror that I put behind that's from I don't know which heritage set I don't know if it's one or two I think it's I think it's number one 
Mm, I'm not too sure, but uh, again, Tumblr post, everything will be linked. This is also up on the gallery. All of my custom content builds are also up on the gallery. Don't forget to select include custom content in the advanced uh what's it advanced search options otherwise you don't see any of my custom content builds that means you go to my my gallery page and you only see my cc free builds and then you say to you say to yourself what has she been doing this whole time where are all these <laughs> builds yeah i'm sorry uh the gallery automatically hides them and you have to repress include them in your search every single time i wish you could just have a setting where you just kept that on as like default if you wanted to that was um but yeah anyway i any excuse to be quite honest in these builds for me to use that that wall that that paneling that square paneling i will take it i've managed to just i think the only thing from the new pack i've actually used in this has got to be the lights i think those hanging lights that i've put on the upstairs um I think that's the only item from the new pack. Yeah, so this is basically just ticking the boxes for the... I know you're not always going to build with the items from the pack for a tiny home. So I wanted to offer like this as an alternative. Of course, you're still going to need the pack to kind of benefit from all of those um, special lot traits and everything. But also, if you don't have the... If you don't have the um, pack and you, I don't know, don't plan on getting it, you can still enjoy this build and just have it as a small build. And I think the only thing you're going to be missing is the lights because that's all I've included in this. Yeah, I'm. the only thing you're going to be missing is those dangling lights from upstairs so you should be able to just replace those straight away. But I'm just happy i did notice that when i was building the other tiny homes i always put the shortest wall height but here we've managed to use medium normally when i'm doing these kinds of builds i always have the tallest wall height so yeah i was just like oh, okay but it was that small that we had to use the medium one so and i used the short one on the upstairs as well but the top floor has the shortest wall height and it was just a whole experience i don't think i've ever used the shortest wall height with this content so it was an eye opener you know i wasn't i wasn't putting massive chandeliers into this build um so yeah but of course it i don't think gate i don't know if the gatehouse would i suppose it would originally be lived in but i feel like this one's been kind of upgraded it's not exactly the original but they've still been sympathetic to what the original would have looked like um yeah, and I have playtested this for you. I took my time playtesting this and for the life of me, I could not get my sim self to go into the kitchen. Like half of the floor I couldn't click on and I realised it's actually the trims on the outside of the house. So if you saw me put the trims underneath the windows outside for this, this bump out bit, uh, for some reason... I haven't even sized them up they're just the original size it doesn't it kind of blocks the the floor inside which i don't get why they're just wall decor on the outside but for some reason they affect the inside so i had to take off the um trims around the outside i've only had that happen i think once before in another house i think the villa eclectic as well had trim and for some reason in the bedroom just one bedroom even though the trim was going around the entire house for some reason in one bedroom it decided no 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 you have to empty out the whole entire room before your sim can use the bed so yeah i don't know why sometimes it does and doesn't i don't know what the game's thinking about also i had the same issue with i think the pediments so what i did is i did some little cute trick and i just raised them up from the ground floor still put them in place and they don't block the path anymore i think it's just if they're snapped to the wall it thinks it's blocking the part the path but if it's not snapped to the wall then it's fine even though it's taking up the same amount of space so gotta love these little workarounds we get to do but yeah here kitchen we oh 
I lied, you will also be missing that shelf if you don't have the Tiny Living Stuff Pack, but um, I hope you have been able to. I will have a code to give away as well for the pack, so um, I don't know, I'm always very, very much delayed with it, so uh, yeah. Look out for the giveaway very, very soon. But anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll be back very soon. The next uh, video up will be the Build Club, and I'll be back with another build on Sunday. Bye, guys.